Good day everyone, in this tutorial we'll be learning how to make nice cool drop downs from a uh, title bar using Ratchet. Alright, to do that first of all I have to delete this so we can have space. So right, right up here, this is the body tag, opening tag and this is my header. Where we have this, I'm just going to delete it and then um, start coding. All right, to make a very nice uh, drop down, it's called pop over in Ratchet. And then um, all we have to do is we make a list of what we want to be in the drop down. Then we'll come to any link on the page and um, specify the ID in the links HF href attributes so that when the person when when the link is clicked the drop down will show but in ratchet drop downs are built to only drop from the top the, the bar the top bar or the header so no matter where the link is on the page once you click it the drop down will show from the top in ratchet is called pop over um, it's called pop over Alright, so to create a popover, all we need is D, we have ID, popover, then we have plus, and we'll still call it popover. Remember that this is an ID, you could call it anything, I could, I could just call it my popover, but the class for the popover, then inside the popover, we can start specifying things. The title of the popover, we could just call it. Uh, even without the title, we'll just go ahead and uh, create a, a UL tag. In the UL tab, we'll specify that this is a table view. This is the usual table view we did before. And of course, we have LI tags and uh, call them table view cell. Table view. Cell, we just say something like ah, something. Well, we just duplicate it into these places, and then we'll go to any link on our page. This is header. Inside this header, I could just uh, create a link a h ref. Well, since we already have a header class, and we have a button, and I could just quickly. Yeah, it, href and uh, oops, a href and um, say something in the href which is like drop down or pop over, drop down. All right. Then the next thing is the href. We have to put the the ID. Look at the ID of our popover. Oops, this is supposed to be D. D. D, yeah. So the ID of our popover is my popover or whatever popover. I could just change it to whatever. Whatever you want. But make sure that what you have here is the same thing. Whatever, whatever. Okay. Then we. We specify other things like maybe this should be bold or whatever. I think we can test it like this. I've saved it. We'll go to our test page and test. You see, when I click on the drop down, I have something, something, something listed. Drop down or something. We could try doing other things like putting a title here and actually making this thing better. Alright, so we get back to what we have and so what we have here is a title we have a, before the drop down we could create a header inside the header was usual class it's a bar 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 nav then inside we have a h1 class title Pop over whatever should be in the title. So 
at this point I could just save save and drop down pop over whatever you could put your icons and then you could make other little adjustment but you get the idea basically right here I could just um, take a H1 tag and make sure that this guy is inside the H1 tag and uh, I could add an icon so, uh, spam class icon icon uh, we could just call it a carrot that the name of the icon we want to add another carrot all right and uh, we could just go and check let's go to this and test so we have a drop down and uh, click on it we have this so you, you could just keep uh, playing around with the font styles and stuff and this is not the only place you could have a link if you have a link in any part of your page it will still uh, cause the drop down to show up the pop over let's try and add a let's try and trigger this pop over with uh, any of these guys here so we're back to our code and we scroll down remember the id is whatever so we just copy it then we scroll down to any of those guys we could just say search look at the search ahref if someone clicks on this search it attempts to load this page so what we just put here is whatever go to the whatever uh, pop over all right and then here we are with a fresh we'll click on search 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 so if you have these things are not the only drop down things you can put in drop down you could put forms and a whole lot of things in your pop over okay put questions and or whatnot so it's quite interesting to have a popover all right thank you very much check out the next tutorial for forms and all other things we can get from ratchet thank you very much